Testing one two. Happy birthday, Skip. Yes, we are. are. And look who's here. Charlie. Oh, hey, Skippy, happy birthday. We came early this time, Skippy, because we found out if you come late, we never can find you. That's right. It gets so crowded, and we can never find you. And there's a bar over here, and we can have a Oh, a bar. Okay, bye. <laughs> there's a bar. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Let's go in the other room and get okay. everybody, honey. Elaine, how are you? I'm wonderful. You brought pop? Yes. Yeah. Right. You must be very happy right oh, now. I'm overjoyed. Uh, I'm just, oh, yeah, yeah. It's my birthday and it's her birthday yes. too. Yes, right. Uh, right. We're having a good time. Good, well, good yes. news for Good him, news. Right? Thank God. Let's good not news. even talk about it. Just go in there and let's have fun. Of course. Thank you for coming. Happy birthday. Sure. Sure. Hello. Hi. I'm Nikki Siegel. I've known you. Nikki, I've of course you I know you. I'm a lovely lady. How are you? Happy Where's your husband? Happy birthday. I don't have a husband. You don't have a Nikki no, hat. That's you do. Hello. Happy birthday. Thank you. Hello. Happy birthday, Skip. Hi. Hi. Let's go right ahead, Stratton. What have you been doing nowadays? Uh, preparing for two films I'll be directing. Ah, oh, you look wonderful. Thank you. Have you heard from our crazy man, Eric? Yes, Douglas? I ran into him in the post office the other day, <laughs> and he didn't recognize me, thank God, because uh -oh. I had blonde hair. <laughs> That's right. But I hope he's not going to be here tonight. No, he might. That's oh, okay. Oh, God, if he is, keep him away, darling. Okay, darling. Okay. Enjoy your evening. I'll wait inside. Happy okay. birthday. Thank you, darling. The Carson Show and Letterman Riders. Mike Barry and Jim Mulholland. My favorite show. And they're the it's my writers. favorite. Are they writers for the car, uh, the Letterman Hi, Show? Skip, how are you? Yes. Hi, how are you? Your nice to meet you. Jim Mulholland. Jim Mulholland. Mike Barry. Mike Barry. And uh, that young Martin Schwar uh, Sh Short. Tell me about Martin Short, you guys. Do you write for him? <laughs> no, no, we've never written for Martin Short. No, no. but Paul Schaefer, you do write for us sometimes, right? Oh. And your name is? I'm Susan Yagley. Hi. Susan. Hi. You're a lovely girl. Oh, thank you. They my also birthday. wrote Bad Boys. Last year they wrote a hit. That was a good hit, yes. Nice seeing nice you, Nice seeing you. We came to your party. I know Happy you did. birthday. Thank you for coming. I'll see you in there. Happy you. birthday, Skip. Thank you. No. Happy you birthday. Know, thank you, you darling. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm born in Mississippi, darling. Oh, really? <laughs> nice seeing you. You too. Enjoy yourselves. Marge McGlory, who do you, know? you bring me? I see someone back there we know from Germany. That's wonderful, Jack Hammer. Jack Hammer. And bring balls of fire. Miller. 
the guy who wrote Great Balls of Fire. How are you doing, Jack? Fine. You look wonderful. And how's your artwork? Is this is for me? That's Presento. Is it really for me, Jack? That's My God, I hope your sex life is busy as this painting. And a Nicole Smith. <laughs> it is. It is. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you so very Hello. How are you? Come right in, folks. I want to tell you, Skippy, yes. if you were a good bottle of French wine, uh -huh. you would be worth a lots of money today. <laughs> Bye, there, darling. There, Miss McGlory. <laughs> Well, Hi, Skippy. You? I'm just fine. You this Happy lovely birthday. lady I haven't seen in a long time. This is my lovely friend, Elise Call. Hello, Brandon Hi. Paul's mother. How are you? How fine. You Happy How birthday. How old is he now? 19. Is he really? He sang for me at the high, at the Roosevelt. Hotel. That's right. He did. He, he sure did. Uh, Elvis Presley. That's right. He was three years old. <laughs> he was three. He wasn't really. <laughs> yes. Who's just behind us? Hi. Happy birthday, Casey Danson. Skippy. Who? Casey Dance and a I friend of Jana. Oh, yes. She's here waiting for Oh, good. You. Nice. Need her. Happy her birthday. Thank, kiss, thanks, kiss. sweetheart. Thank you. Corinne, Kelly, bonsoir. Bonsoir. Comment ça va? Now, um... Skippy wants me to Jack, you want uh, Skippy wants me to ask, well, how are you having a nice time so far? Yes, very nice. You're still as pretty as ever. Thank you. Yes. And uh, so what's new in your life? Well, Ta -da. Not, very much. not very much. No, you know, but I'm a hypnotherapist now. I'm a hypnotherapist. So I, I have the pleasure of helping people get out from their own on the negativity, you know. So it's a joy every day. You know? Isn't it wonderful? You're helping people. That's great. That's great. Well, we're going to move on, and you have a nice time tonight, okay? Yeah. We're nice. Nice. Inter interview whom? Anybody. All right. Okay. Okay. I'll be the uh, host for the next few moments. Well, let's let's start with this. Let's start with this young lady here. What is your name? Ludmilla Deschamps. Ludmilla Deschamps, yes. actress and author. Well, now more author than actress. All right, let's go over here. Here we are. You look familiar. You look like somebody from New York. <laughs> no, well, I've, I've lived in New York quite a while. My name is Barbara McNair. Barbara McNair from Broadway. I knew you. And this is your husband? I'm Charlie. I'm from, uh, uh, from I don't know Burbank. where. But Charlie from Burbank. Burbank. Oh, Broadway, here, Burbank. The and star. I'm, I'm, I'm Joe Cassini, who... Uh, who was a choreographer, director, and choreographed Barbara McNair's series, oh. Barbara McNair series in Canada, and we know each other many years. Did you do a show out here? I well, many. we started out here. We started at KTLA, right, and then yeah. we went on to Canada. Right. And I had my own show and had her own series. It. All right. A variety, musical variety show. Yeah. yeah. Well, Barbara was hot back in New York. Yeah. I was working at the Baby Grand with Nipsey Russell. Oh, uh, yes. I remember the Baby Grand. Absolutely. Oh, well, you look great. Thank you. Look fantastic. You. So when is your next show? Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, where? Like. Yeah, she just did a movie. But yeah, I just got that one. All right. We'll yes, try to catch it. Doing oh, that show. The movie's called Neon Signs. Leon Signs. Probably be out in the fall. Carol and Leon. Well, lots of luck. Great. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Jack Hammer. I am the guy who was voted the craziest rock and roll songwriter of the decade. I wrote Great Balls of Fire. Did you ever sing that? Yes, goodness gracious, and he sang Great Balls of Fire. That's what I mean. All right, let's start with, what's your name? Giselle McKenzie. All right. Can I kiss you on the cheek? Sure. Giselle McKenzie. And you you, you may catch me on the cheek. Oh, My name is Carl Valentine. Oh, right. <laughs> the amazing Valentine. Right. And I'm Jane Keene from The Honeymooners. Oh, from The Honeymooners. And I'm Seal Cabot. All right. From The Road. <laughs> all right. Do you, do you know them all? All right. You look like a lively table here. It's just a lively table. All right. So as soon as they play Great Balls of Fire, I'm coming to get you. Got it. Got it. We're going to rock and roll. Okay. Wake Skippy up. My pleasure. That's the dumbest song I ever wrote. I got this too. <laughs> but I laugh all the way to the bank. <laughs> you can talk about the fish. Fish don't talk. 
beautiful he Fish is. never say anything. They're a dumb fish. Yeah. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at his beautiful, yeah, but colors and stripes. But they never say anything. <laughs> Here is an actor, I'm sure. What's your name? Brian Hartz. Brian Hartz. And your name? My name is Carrie McLean. I'm an actress. This is a musician, actually. Oh, well, he's a musician, actor. That's good enough. Performer. Hi, I'm Dave Labiosa, and this is my lovely wife, Carrie. Oh, you guys are married? Yes, yep. she's she's expecting, so much fun. I She's she expecting her first child. <laughs> <laughs> no, she really is. Oh, she's nice. I'm, I'm very that. happy. I'm well, very, our, very happy our first child, actually. Oh, all right. And my first But anyway, child. we want to wish Skippy a very happy birthday. We happy love you, birthday, Skippy. Happy birthday, Skippy. You're we the best. You very much. Skippy, Skippy Lowe, the love best. You very much. What instrument? Lead guitar. Lead, hey. A strat. You're right. We're All right, I know. All right, carry on. And this lovely movie star over here. Well, hello, darling. I Good wish I would. Good to see you again. Good to see you. I know you. Of course you do. You're Jack Hammer. Yeah, I'm Molly Benson. <laughs> yes. But director, not actress. <laughs> <laughs> director, director, not actress. Right. You are. I'm Christine Dwyer. Uh, actress. Uh, production coordinator. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she works in my films with me. All right. So you. You have a, a, a new thing coming out now? I have two films, Catherine, which is a Western, which is better than Bad Girls, uh -oh. and better than Crick and the Dead, and Samantha, film to be shot in Brazil. <laughs> and I'm helping uh, Larry Jones with Feed the Children in Oklahoma City. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Now yeah. that's great. Yeah. That's I'm, very I'm important. I'm real excited about doing that. All right. Well, next time you hear Great Balls of Fire, just remember I wrote it and oh, play it. Shit, I need the money. I know who you are. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh my God! Sure you do. I can sing you. Want me to hum a few bars? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she probably can sing great balls of fire. Anybody can. Oh my goodness! I, I'm so. I, I'm so. Oh my goodness! Great balls. Of fire. Goodness gracious! You couldn't say. That's wonderful. <laughs> Good to see you again. You You're still too. Lovely I know I've seen you at these before, but You're you still know. Still lovely as ever. Oh. We're old friends, really. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Archie, how are you? What's your name? Trip Mahan. Trip. Trip, and your bodyguard is? My yes. bodyguard is Gary Scoby. Nice to meet you. All right, you guys looking good here. Thank you. Thank come you. down to celebrate with Skippy? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. All right. Give everybody in here my best regards. Okay, thanks. Give us a drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good evening. Hi. How are you all? We're having a great having time. A good time. We wouldn't miss sure a Skippy are. Low birthday oh, for anything. It's a real potpourri of people, and I love it. All right. What's your right. Name? Elaine Calhoun. Jeffrey Lehman, happy birthday, Skip. Yes, yes. Right. Kay Nordhaus, happy birthday, Skip. All right. My name is Jack Hammer. Hi, nice Jack. meeting you, Jack. Nice we wouldn't miss it for the world. No, okay. The world. You guys are right in the middle of it. Only a here we go. The Twister moves down this way. <laughs> What's your name? Susie. Susan. Yeah, you look like a Susan. <laughs> Cute as you can be. Thank you. Susan. What's your name? Elise. Lee. Elise. L-E-E. -E. Elise. Uh oh, Elise. That's better. That's like in Wonderland. Hi, Skippy. Happy birthday. Brandon says happy birthday, too. <laughs> Let's interview the waitress. Uh, you, you know Skippy Lowe? No, actually, I just met him this evening. This, uh, she is the waitress who is uh, taking care of Skippy Lowe's friends. Yeah, they're and That's very gonna sweet. make the evening. All right. <laughs> What's your name? Dave. Dave. Yeah. How you doing? Are you winning? Yeah, I'm winning. I just gotta get the eight ball in, and then uh -oh. I got him. Oh, oh, you're ahead of the guy. Go ahead. See if, see if Dave makes that eight ball. Give him a shot. Dave is shooting at the eight ball. Whoa, we jinxed him. Ha! Get uh, no, but I can do better than that. You're, you're a better shot than those two guys. Well. Go over there and, go over there and give him a shot. Oh, man. Those guys, those guys missed some easy shots. Actually, she is a much better pool player than those two guys. <laughs> you can't get away, can you? 
Hello, how are you? Is that the, uh, here we have Ruth Webb, one of Hollywood's most famous agents at Skippy's birthday party. And I'm going to sit down and ask Ruth uh, how long she's known Skippy and uh, how she feels about being at the birthday party tonight. Well, I think this is by far the nicest birthday party that I have been to. Of course, we got here very early so we could reserve a seat. And uh, what else did you want me? Oh, I, I don't know. I just understand that you've known Skippy for a long time and been to a number of birthday parties. I've known Skippy, I think, probably about 30 years. My goodness. As a matter of fact, uh, we know each other so well that at one party that I gave, they thought he was me. <laughs> <laughs> right up to Skippy and said, are you Ruth Webb? That's really amazing. Have any words for Skippy actually on his birthday? Yes. Uh, actually, it was a birthday party out in Malibu when, when we were there, and we gave it for a friend of ours named Dean Dittman, who has passed on. Uh -huh. But Skippy was uh, very much the star of the party. And uh, he, but he came out, and uh, we had photographers and people there, and they didn't, know, uh, they didn't know me, so they walked up to Skippy and said, are you Ruth Webb? I see. <laughs> I see. So the, after that, I got very blonde. Uh-huh. Well, we're happy to have you here tonight, and I know Skippy's happy to have you here tonight. It's nice to see you, Jana. You're Thank very you. talented and very lovely, and I like your hair. Thank you very much. It's Danson, and Casey is the associate producer on a new musical called Flavia and the Dreammaker. Um, can you tell us something about Flavia, Casey? Um, it's a heartwarming story of a child, a young child, who finds hope through a relationship with her um, young uncle who goes off to war and is killed and inspires her to do wonderful things in the world and gives her hope in her, and confidence in herself. Casey, I understand you're going into some other forms of producing. Anything you'd like to talk about? Um, I really can't talk about any of it at this point. Film, a sitcom, a uh, major feature film, a sitcom. And, uh, Aren't you an, also an artist in your own right, photography? Yes, I'm a photographer. I may have a show of my um, homeless photographs this fall, I hope, um, at the G. Ray Gallery, G. Ray Hawkins gallery and I'm a sculptor and also an environmental designer small a architect I've seen a lot of, of uh, Casey's work and it's absolutely stellar I know that Skippy is glad you were able to come and celebrate his birthday thank you it's great to be here I'd like to ask you your name and ask you why you're at Skippy's birthday party tonight <laughs> Well, my name is Margie McGlory, and uh, Skippy is, uh, we've been friends uh, for a long time. We met in Paris, oh. and uh, so I come to his birthday every year. You do? How many, how many of his birthday parties have you been to uh, here? In since he started. Since he started having them? Since he started having his uh, birthdays. Do you now and live here in Los Angeles? I live here in Los Angeles, yes. And I don't know you. What, what is it that you do? Well. I'm an entertainer, uh -huh. a singer, impressionist, oh. and... Um, have you ever been on Skippy's talk show? Yes, I have. Is yes, he I'm a wonderful, wonderful interviewer? He's the best of the best. Yeah, I myself <laughs> had the pleasure of being on Skippy's talk show a little while ago, and I actually thought that he was probably the best interviewer that I had ever been interviewed by. Was that, was that your experience as well? Yes, uh, many people have said that about Skippy. Yeah. I've heard many great compliments uh, about... Well, I'm happy to meet you and I'm glad you're here this evening. Well, thank you very much, and I'll have a nice time. Good. Okay. Hi. I'd like to interrupt this table for just a second because I know we have some very, very wonderful people here and have you say hi to Skippy. Hi, hi Skippy. It's Joe Cassini. I want to wish you a happy, happy birthday and many, many, many more. I love you. Joe, you have a big award coming up soon, don't you? Yes, I do. I'm being honored at the uh, Beverly Hilton uh, with the uh, Feather Awards, which is the big dance awards that's being uh, held uh, from the ballroom world and the entertainment world. And Margaret is presenting me my award. And I'm very excited. I heard about that, and I'm excited for you. Congratulations. And next to you, we have Barbara McNair. How wonderful. How exciting to have you here. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Let's see, this is about my 100th birthday party that I've been to for Skippy, and he still looks fabulous, as we all do. And another 100 years to you, Skippy, darling. It's Barbara. And over here, this is? Tony Black. I'm with Barbara. Skippy. You know what I think about you. You're a terrific guy. Happy birthday, and hey, have a lot more. Thanks. Thank you all. We'd put you on television. That's 
Wonderful. I live for television. That's great. What's your name? Trip, like you take one. Like you take one. All right. What do you do? Gary with two R's. Hello, Gary. I thought I'd get you in the light to say hi to Skippy. Hello. Hi, Skippy. Happy birthday. Skippy, happy birthday. Have you been to any other of Skippy's birthday parties before this? Uh, this is the first one, actually. Skippy and I met at the Ace Cable Ace Awards. Uh, tell me what those are, please. Those are like the cable Emmys we were judging to see who was best on the cable market. You were judging with Skippy or you were on the cable market yourself? <laughs> I was judging. Judging. I see. And you? I'm his date. <laughs> You're his date. So you've never been to a Skippy Low birthday no, party before? Really, no. It's fascinating, isn't it? And the evening has just begun. <laughs> exactly. Good to see you both. Give you too, again. Gary Scobie. And you are? Trip Mayhan. Nice to see you. Nice to see Bye. Duma always works for me. So I just have to come over and say hello to you two. Who are you? What's your name? Uh, Deborah Callum. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Fine. How are Why you? are you dressed this way this evening, Deborah? Well, actually, I um, was in the mood to just, you know, get some authority. You know, maybe people will, you know, salute me. You never know. Where did you get this outfit? <laughs> well, Gail Dower. She's a designer here in uh, Beverly Hills. She does a lot of celebrities. Well, I think it's absolutely fascinating, and I wish I had it on. You have to do I really it. love yeah. it. And who's this with you? Uh, this is a friend of mine, Hans. He's uh, just flown in from Jakarta. He's actually doing filming out there. Well, I'm jet lagged right now. You'll excuse the slurs. It's not the wine. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. I just got back myself from the Cannes Film Festival oh. and uh, I was quite jet lagged when I got back, but it was worth being jet lagged, wasn't it? Traveling's terrific. I'll let you know in an hour if it was worth it. <laughs> How well do you all know Skippy? <laughs> I'm like, you can't have it. You're having coffee. How well do you all know Skippy? Well, I met Skippy through a friend of mine, Israel Tepic and um, uh, Gail Dower, uh -huh. actually the one who does the jackets. And where is Gail's, uh, where does Gail? She does everything. Actually, Howie Mandel wore one of her oh. heavy metal uh, on the HBO show. I recall and that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's done quite a few uh, celebrities. Uh, all right, so well, when we're off camera. Camera, I'm going to get her uh, you have to get all her the information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Nice to see you here tonight. Thank you very much. Can I have a kiss? Skippy. Thank you. Oh, okay. ah, a lot of dandruff. Oh, a lot of dandruff, honey. Oh, that's okay, honey. Oh, let me you kiss look great, my darling. <laughs> the dandruff he's got on his shoulder. Come right in, guys. Get a drink. <laughs> Thank you. So what's happening with your career right now? You're doing quite well. Uh, I just uh, started back up playing a whole new character on... You look wonderful. Thanks. I think your mother's here. Is she here? Yes. Cool. I think they're all back there waiting for you. All right. And nice seeing you. Good seeing you, Skippy. And happy birthday, man. Straight ahead. Okay. Yes, yeah, sure, sure. All around here. Introduce yourself. Okay. Hi. How are you? I want to find out what all of you would like to say to Skippy on his birthday. Oh, I didn't get the question. I'd like to know what all of you would like to say to Skippy on his birthday that you'd like to hear repeated over on television. Annie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you for Skippy. Anybody else? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Francesca. Uh, I just want to say, Skippy, you're great. He's a good customer of mine, and he's wonderful, intelligent, and I'm very proud to be here tonight. And this is my lady friend, Francesca. Francesca Daniel. I want to tell you that all I want to know is I want to do whatever Skippy's doing to celebrate his birthdays over and over again and look better and better and have bigger and bigger parties. <laughs> and where is he a customer of? Oh, Trash with Class on Santa Monica Boulevard. And what is that? It's a costume, antiques, furniture, and we have a little theater in the back. Oh, really? Oh, and what's your address? 8271 Santa Monica Boulevard, Trash with Class. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Skippy's birthday, and I'd like to know what any of you, Marvin, we'll start with you. This is Marvin Page, a casting director that's very well known in L.A. What would you like to say to Skippy that you would like to hear on television? I'd like to hear on television <laughs> that, that he that uh, he won six million dollars. Skippy, we want you to be happy, keep doing your show, let it get bigger and better, and just have fun with people as you always do. Happy birthday. That was Marvin Page. Thank you, Marvin. Does, 
Oh, of course, Corinne Calvé. How are you? This is Corinne Calvé, famous, famous actress. And I'd like to know what you would like to say to Skippy for his birthday. <laughs> that you would like to say that you'd like to see on television again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me stuck there. Um, let's see. I would like him to have as man much love in his life than he did when he was a young man. That's really beautiful. That's really beautiful. Oh, Linda Christian, of course. You, how are you? Would you like, you're here, you're traveling from Europe to the party? Yes, uh, actually I'm going to be going back and forth, like I always do. Like you always do. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to say something to Skippy? Yes, I enjoy very much uh, uh, doing his interviews, and I hope that he has a lot of success doing many, many more. That was a legendary Linda Christian. Thank you for being here tonight. <laughs> Joseph? Well, here from Sweden. Well, well, Skippy, thank you for many, many years of wonderful friendship. You're fantastic. Keep at it. We love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> I said to Skippy Lowe, if you made this party tonight, I'd eat my hat. Thank God I didn't wear one. It's wonderful to see you. Nice to see you, Annie. What do you like San Diego? I really like it. And there are Jewish people there. Are there artists? artists <laughs> a lot of... Oh, there's a couple of theaters that are very good. The Old Globe Playhouse? And another, there's another one that does musicals. You ought to find out about it. I can't think of the name. I'll find out for you. Okay. And you're going to let me know about the cousins because I don't know anybody in San Diego to call. What would you like to say to Skippy that you'd like to see seen on television? Happy birthday, Skippy, and 50 more. <laughs> as healthy and happy as you are now. Thank you, Shelly. With the wonderful Barbara McNair, one of my all-time favorite singers. We were just together in Tucson. Hey, Barbara, what's going on with you? Well, this is my third interview of the night, and uh, nothing has changed. I'm still, I'm still happy to be here. Nice to see you, Annie, since Tucson, darling. That's right. Um, where she, you were the hit of the show, the hit of the show, you and Trini Lopez. Wonderful. What would you like to say to Skippy for his birthday? Well, as I always say to Skippy, many, many more, and uh, don't forget to invite me whenever you have one. They're getting bigger and they're getting better. <laughs> Just like Skippy. <laughs> Just like Skippy. You heard who said that, Skippy, right? And here's the wonderful choreographer, Joe Cassini. Joe, what would you like to say to Skippy tonight? Well, um, this is also my third interview, but I love it. I'm sure Skippy will edit it all. <laughs> Again, happy birthday, Skippy. I love you and many, 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 many more. This is Skippy's very... Fourth, Paula Shaw. Happy birthday, Skippy Lowe. Happy birthday. And what a great job you're doing. Boy, don't you look terrific. Thank you. I wore my birthday dress for Skippy. Oh, the San Diego weather, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, thank you for having us here, and we're having a good time. Yeah, nice to see so many people that love Skippy show yeah. up for his birthday. Yeah, it's really, really an acknowledgement of him. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks. Mackenzie, wonderful singer. She's here for Skippy's birthday. What would you like to say to Skippy that you'd like to see played back on television? Oh, well, I hope that he realizes that uh, a laugh a day will keep him young always. <laughs> and it wouldn't hurt to dance a little bit, to sing a little bit around the kitchen, whatever, you know. But um, I feel that laughing is probably the healthiest thing you can do. That's wonderful. And where are you singing these days? Well, I just did a, a uh, concert appearance at the Alex Theater last week with Count Basie Orchestra, Count Basie and with Tony Martin, and uh, that was quite, quite a thrill. I had never